All right. Hi, my name is Karen Brown, and I am currently a junior at Woodbridge High School, and my application is a smart dance generator. So what is my application? Um, a smart dance generator is an application that takes in different audio clips and generates dance choreography that aligns to the audio in the form of a sh short stop motion clip of stick figures. So the reason why I wanted to create this is because of the many challenges in the dance community for choreographing. Um, and the main issue is called choreographer's block. So many of you might have heard of writer's block in which a writer lacks creativity that inspires them to write. Similarly, choreographer's block is a temporary block in the creative flow of a choreographer. Um, which prevents them from creating choreography that they would be proud to present to an audience. I've experienced this firsthand almost every day as a part of a dance team, um, and I've also been dancing for 14 years, so this is an issue that is really prevalent to me, and I'm sure many other dancers as well. It's a universal problem that's experienced by all dancers, including students, coaches, directors, and more. This issue arises because dancers are usually choreographing with a purpose. For example, a dance show or an upcoming dance competition, and the dance has to be finished by that time, so there's a deadline. And my solution is the application Smart Dance Generator, um, which I've published on the Google Play Store. So the inputted audio is compared to the music videos from the database um, and choreography. Um, is for the three most similar audios are extracted and portrayed with the stick figure. So um, on the next slide, here's my solution. So the first box here, um, the user inputs the audio and then the audio is extracted from the music videos in my database. And it is, um, they compare the two audios to for each of the audios in the database to find which three audios are most similar to the audio that the user inputted. The next step of my code um, is choreography extracted. So the three most similar audios, choreography will be extracted from the videos that align with those three audios. Um, and then it will be laid over so that each point on the body, for example, an elbow, a knee, your hip, your hand, each point on your body will be represented um, with a with a point and then portrayed as a stick figure. Um, and the stick figure overlays the movement of those three videos. And then for the last step, the video is compiled and presented. So the stick figure clips are concatenated and returned as a stop motion video to the user. And so this is just how it is returned to the user. So it's just a video that shows these stick figures um, dancing through the motion. And I'll show an example of this later on in my presentation as well. So um, for the third step, the audio file is separated from its suffix file type um, so that it can be converted to a WAV file. And then I utilize feature, segment, and display from the Librosa library um, to determine the cosine distance between notes in the user inputted audio and the notes from the preloaded songs in the database. And this is how I compare it. So here's my first example of code. This distance is used to compare songs. So this is what I was referencing earlier with the cosine distance between notes. Um, use, and we use this to analyze the different audio files to determine their similarity. So um, this distance that is determined is what we use to compare the songs. Um, by determining songs as more similar, the closer the distance between notes are, and ranking songs as less similar as the distance between notes increases. To continue, I created a method that finds different landmarks on an image. In this case, landmarks being different points on the human body, for example, an elbow. A following method is used to string together the appropriate landmarks with a visual line, since each landmark is assigned to a point on the body. So for example, the elbow should be connected to the shoulder, but it should not be directly connected to the ankle. As for the second example of my code, 
Another method was created to string together different landmark images, therefore creating a video composed of separate images with points along the human body. And this displays movement in a stop motion video of stick figures, like I mentioned earlier. So this process is used to transform a video of dance choreography to be displayed on a stick figure rather than a human body. And this stick figure video is then pieced together and concatenated with the other similar videos to create new choreography. Um, on the next slide, I'm going to play a short music clip. So I would like everybody to um, imagine or think about what choreography to this song might sound like or it might look like and how your body naturally wants to move when you hear the music. Magic carpet ride, a whole new a new fantastic point of view. No one to tell us no or where to go or say we're only dreaming. Okay, so um on the next slide I'm I will show the choreography that was created by my application. So I ran this through my app and this is what it came up with. Magic. Magic carpet ride, a whole new, a new fantastic point of view. No one to tell us no or where to go or say. Yeah, so that's an example of what it returns. So if you just look at the figure, you can tell that there are different points. So at the feet, there's three points, and then there's a point at the knees, the hips, the shoulders, um, and around the head and the elbow, and three points at the hand as well. Um, so it basically overlays this by um, analyzing the different videos in my database, and it covers them with this stick figure. Um, by analyzing the different points, and this tracks the movement of the person. Um, so it's actually really interesting to see it all come together. So next, I'm going to talk about the impact of my um, application. So throughout the world, there are 25.16 million people who claim to be regular dancers, um, and there are 10,445,000 of those um, and the, the, that's just the amount of students that are learning dance in America alone. So this is an application that can be utilized by a lot of people, especially students who are trying to improve their choreography um, and go beyond just taking dance classes. And it can also help choreographers and directors, as well as coaches and teachers, um, when they're trying to choreograph different pieces to teach to their students. Um, it also bridges the gap because it allows for students who don't have access to a regular teacher to just run music, put in choreo, um, receive the choreo that goes with their music, and then um, they are able to just learn off of that video. And so it's another way to learn different styles and be able to practice dance. So um, this is how I plan to move forward. Um, it will be a subscription-based service with a free trial period, um, and there is also going to be a premium version with additional features. Um, the additional feature would be a longer video time, which would require me to create a separate database with um, longer video clips, so that because that's what the application is pulling from. It's the videos in my database. And then there would also be ads from people who are seeking choreographers for a show or from schools seeking students or instructors. Um, so continuing with my future plans, um, I would like to develop the premium version. So I already talked about advertisements, but I'd like to also make the app available on iOS. Right now it's only available on Google Play Store, so I hope to expand that. And then I am also looking to develop the premium version, um, which I mentioned has the additional feature with a longer video time. So um, just a quick wrap up looking at the ethics of my 
application. My A idea is an inclusive application because it extends dance to people who don't have access to learning choreography from master classes or from a studio. Um, and it gives dancers a chance to improve their own skills as well as choreography skills on their own and without cost. Um, it's also cyber secure because the application doesn't take in any user information, only the audio that the user chooses to input. Um, and there's also no crossover between users, so the audio uploaded by each user cannot be accessed by any other user, um, as well as the stop motion choreography, which is returned. Um, and so there's never going to be two of the same because it extracts them differently. So each time that you put the music in, it's going to give you a new um choreographed piece um and it can also be used by people who don't dance because for example with the game just dance it became very popular um, because dance is a fun way to connect with other people and it's a fun form of exercise and cardio um, activity and so this application can really be utilized by anybody who just wants to learn a quick dance, um, but doesn't want to go out and spend money to learn from a studio or from a master class. So these are the credits for my slide as we're nearing the end here. Um, and I would just like to thank you for viewing my presentation. And here's my contact information. Um, if anyone wants to follow up with me, um, and I also have a YouTube video with my presentation posted as well. Um, and I'd like to open the room up for any questions now.